In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, let us recognize our sins before the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times go before us and follow after us, and make us always determinate to carry out good works. For our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. Immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, rivalry and jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, and peace patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and its desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. But not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I read it through the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord said, 
Woe to you, Pharisees! You pay tithes of mine of rule and in every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. These should have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues and greeting in the marketplaces. Woe to you! You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, Teacher, by saying this, you are insulting us too. And he said, Woe to you also scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens hard to carry, but you yourself do not lift one finger to touch them. Gospel of the Lord. Praise Please be seated. Wow, today the readings are strong, huh? Yesterday we are meditating about the cleanliness, the perfection. We sometimes became prison of the details, and when the traditions become more important than the core of the law, and sometimes there is a pattern, but that doesn't mean that traditions are not important. They're important too, because they are part of our special faith. Today we are maintaining and continuing with what is Jesus is telling to the Pharisees, because he is not saying that they're going to be condemned, but he's a warning to them. If you keep doing this, you are going to destroy yourself. And it's not you. The problem with the sin is that there is no sin that doesn't take what is around you. It's like an explosion with a grenade. You throw the grenade, it's not just that, oh, that far, but if you are close, you can die. When there is a kind of virus right now, and I don't want to use this example, it's not you, you just are maybe with temperature, maybe you feel the symptoms, and says, well, I can survive, but the problem is not you. The problem is you're walking by places and you don't take care of yourself, and you're taking over the rest. That's what sin does. Today, uh, I want to remember, to, I want to explain to you what, what happened yesterday in the class of uh, RCIA. We were talking about the existence of God, the venues that St. Thomas says, but uh, in general, what I said a little before that is that sometimes people have a crisis, not just a crisis of faith, but a crisis of of ever seeing or understand the reality, the reality that you can see and not. For us, the evidence is this is a chair, this is a podium, this is a microphone, I believe because that is real. They say, well, but there are so many things that are not real, but can become real. But talking about God is because it's essentially spirit. But Talking about God and saying that it's not exist, well, you have to say as well that the evil and the evil things doesn't exist too. We are capable to do such awful things in the world. And maybe there is no saying like today in the St. Paul to the Galatians, he's not mentioned capital sins because that concept came later, so much later. We take capital because it's the root of many other sins. But what Paul is saying, and examples to the Galatians, is the sins that are evident right now. You don't have so much theory to explain what is each one of these, but you can see the fruits of those actions. The spirit of the person can get contaminated, can get enchanted by the easy way of living. We had a great list of today that we can explain slowly, but we are have to be finished in half an hour. Uh, but check all the what happened in the spirit. I was telling the RCA yesterday, these are the seven deadly sins. But you have at least one of these. That will be really weird that you are not dealing strongly with one. And I'm telling you to you, and maybe you're going to 
get a little thing. No? Yes. All of us. I remember that we were some priests and some people in certain parish, and the preacher who is, uh, is studying his doctorate right now, the priest was telling us, he was giving us exer spiritual exercise, the Carmelite spirituality. Because we had one strength, we had another weakness. We had a strength, whatever is your gift from God. But the enemy is looking you in your strong way you are, in that strong way you are, he wants to put you down. He wants to use the other side of that to confuse us and make that gift, make that part of the uh, uh, gift, uh, gift of the Holy Spirit, make fall apart. In the moment you don't know, because when the people feel happy, oh, I have this gift of God, you are not making good attention and you don't evaluate yourself constantly with an honest examination of consciousness. The enemy is taking other things to put that thing down. You are distracted, you can be distracted, you can be uh, over um, worry about something. And other things are waiting there. It's like the same thing what we heard in St. Paul. You maybe are free from one sin or one devil, but the enemy say, I want to sing to seven devils. We have to be vigilant, dear sisters and brothers. That is what the Jesus is telling to the uh, Pharisees and the, the, the scholars. It's not that, that you're going to go to hell because I said so. No. Woe to you. I am giving you the warning. You are the masters. You are the teachers. You are the one who teach and the people will preach. You are the ones who come to Mass at 8.30 a.m. Mass. The people are seeing you. He knows. She knows that you go at 8.30 a.m. Mass or you watch watching Mass, whatever channel, because it's not good enough for the cooler. You watch the priest or Father Baron or Bishop Baron. I am just kidding. Um, well, to you, they say, well, you are the one who is announcing. You are the scholar. You can, I don't say the Pharisee. But you are the ones who have to be really careful to see what yesterday, what is the most important thing, and don't get distracted. Because the sins are there. The wickedness is there. Maybe there's maybe one sin that I struggle more. Well, I ask in the Lord the grace, the, the Holy Spirit, to battle with that. And when I explain a little bit that that uh, the, the seven deadly sins to the to the young people when they mostly they are saying it was that oh, they just they sometimes I give a kind of lecture class a lot of times it's different they were kind of sleep but when they start to listen the root or the explanation of each sins oh. so their sisters and brothers can be any immorality impurity licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissension, factions, occasion of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, or things alike. Maybe we are not that kind of level of uh, sinful life, of course. But there is some kind of thing we have to be more uh, aware of. I don't have to give place that certain sins grow in. That is what amazing is to be connected with the sacraments. Because when we do examination of consciousness, I said, I start to be a little jealous. Yeah, I recognize. I start to be a little, uh, you know, angry, fury. I start to be a little sad, angry with God. I had so much things that, well, me and my wife, uh, we don't have so much patience. I start to have this, I start to do that. My dear sisters and brothers, we are not, may, may not have living in that kind of way, but we know people that maybe are prison of one kind of behavior, or one kind of action. We need to pray for we need to not just say, you can't do that. You should not do that. No. Offer prayers. Offer solutions. Dialogue. Because 
what is important here with the scholars in the final of the gospel today, you don't move with one finger. You know what is amazing about people who go to church, you know what it is? The experience. You deal with that, you battle with that. You can speak of your own struggles and from all your own victories. You have to succeed in a certain way. Speak, share your faith with others. This is how much I suffer. This is how much I overcome certain things in my life. I know you can. It's not just to say, you need to change. That is easy to say. But if you let yourself be inspired by the Lord, I give it a little time. You remember the words of mercy? The spiritual words of mercy? But when you ask the Lord to help me to be a good instrument, Maybe those preachers can be you, and maybe somebody else can change their life. Just remember, the sins of one can reflect on the decisions of others. So maybe I am not directly responsible, but in some way I'm responsible for the other. So the first thing I have to work is on myself. So may the Lord give us clarity to keep building in us the fruits of the Spirit rather than the fruits of the wicked things. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please say. Dear sisters and brothers, God let us want to celebrate the good things we have received from God, let us to ask Him to prompt in us prayers that are worthy of his healing. For all who have bowed themselves to God, for Pope Francis, for our Archbishop, Archbishop Alexander, for our pastor, Father Charles, that with their help we may also may faithfully keep the resolve to be good sons and daughters of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For peace among nations, that delivered from all turmoil, the peoples may serve God in freedom of heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the elderly who suffer from isolation or sickness, that they may be strengthened by our love of them as brothers and sisters. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves gathered here, that as God does not cease to sustain us with the things of this life, we may know how to, how to use them in such a way. In such a way that we may hold them even now to the things that endure forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord may your mercy we beseech you, O Lord, be with your people who cry to you so that what they seek at your prompting they may obtain by your ready generosity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God, all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and for human hands, you will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed, God. God. Blessed are you, Lord God, all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and for human hands, you will become for us our spirit. Blessed, Blessed be God. God. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand, for the praise and glory of his name, for our holy good of all his holy church. 
has said, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful, which the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devoutness we may pass over to the glory of heaven, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift off your hearts. We lift them up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Zion in the heights. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy them. These gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like you, so they may become for us the Father and love of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of it, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, the supper was ended. He took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of it, and drink it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have called us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How do we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit? Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alexander, our Bishop, and all the clergy, with our pastor, Father Charles. Remember also our brothers and sisters who had fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all those who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we make merry to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. 
Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always be free from sin and safe from all distress. Let's be away to bless hope and come of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory, and glory, now Lord Jesus Christ, who sent the apostles, peace and need, might peace again. Let not of our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us forgive in a safe manner one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us the Dear sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord. But only say a word and the soul to serve. We continue to distribute communion close to you and after Mass. We continue to uh, distribute communion only to those ones who are already on the line. If you are not on the line, please approach the church so we can all be together and also keep connecting our faith. If you cannot receive communion as well, for some reason, you can also say prayer from the bottom of your heart. You stay in spiritual communion with us and the The body of Christ. prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
Come and live spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body of blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you. Thank you.